YouTube just got done work on my way home it's a beautiful day out but we got to stay inside um, yesterday I went to a Dollar Tree and saw that they have DVDs and blu-rays um, the reason I'm filming the intro outside is because why not give you some different scenery to see um, I picked up some good stuff Thanks for watching. Thanks for making my channel grow bigger and bigger and bigger. I owe it all to you. All right, guys, we're home. Just got done a long eight hour shift. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of the movies I got at the dollar store yesterday. The dollar store is funny. You know, sometimes you find absolute horrible movies that you, you never heard of. Um, really B rated shit that is just bad. You don't even want it. But you do find some good stuff sometimes. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Whether it's garbage or not, it's a dollar. So let's just get started. I'm going to talk about some of these briefly. I'm not going to go crazy into detail, especially since I didn't see half of them. But let's get started. This first one is a Chuck Norris five-movie film set. Never seen any Chuck Norris movie in my life. I did used to watch his show... Walker, Texas Ranger, but, you know, I've never seen a movie. There's the back. Um, I'll name the movies for you guys. The President's Man, The President's Man, A Line in the Sand, Logan's War, Bound by Honor, Driven to Kill, and L.A. Street Fighters. Pretty cool. Five dollars. Can't go wrong. If it's horrible, no loss. Also... I got another Chuck Norris five film set. Is this five films? Four films. Okay. Well, this one actually feels better, sturdier. Um, this has Lone Wolf, McQuaid, Missing in Action, Code of Silence, and the Delta Force. This one looks a little more high quality. But, you know, you'd think I'm a huge Chuck Norris fan, but I only thing I've ever seen of his is his little workout shows and Walker, Texas Ranger. This next one is another five movie set, and this is Bruce Lee. It's got the real Bruce Lee. Uh, oh, that's just the title. All right, Bruce Lee, We Miss You. Maybe that's like a documentary thing. Edge of Fury, Screaming Ninja, Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth. Pretty cool. These look like Black Friday things from, from Walmart. I think that's where they get them. Because Walmart does this color-coded thing to tell you the price of the movies since they're scattered all over the place. But that looks pretty cool. Um, I've seen one Bruce Lee movie in my life. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, there's a scene where he's fighting and there's mirrors all around him. And he don't know which way's straight. Who He don't know which way's back. It's like in a, a friggin' fun house basically and he's getting messed up uh if you know the title of that movie please leave that in the comment because i love that movie and i want to see it again this next one is cheesy horror it's called back country it might be good i'm not sure a friend recommended it told me it was good um yeah, there's the back. I believe that's the guy from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Kepper, his name was. It looks okay. I mean, based on a true story. So, uh, maybe this isn't a horror movie. I think it's a movie like where they're lost in the woods or something. Uh, we'll see. This next one is a classic. Everyone knows it. Unfortunately, I've never seen it. But now I can. I'm not a huge Western fan, but I am a Clint Eastwood fan. This is good, the bad, and the ugly on Blu-ray for $1. You can't go wrong. You can't beat it. Badass. I love Clint Eastwood. Um, Grand Serino, Million Dollar Baby. The Mule. He's got a bunch of shit. This next one is great. It's a remake. I love the originals, but I love the, re the remake too. I like the originals better. This is Mad Max, Charlie Theron, and uh, what's his name? Tom Hardy. Really good movie. Future, not futuristic, more like apocalyptic. Uh, very brutal, badass. I actually have this, but it skips. 
So, and I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. I couldn't help myself. Sugar pie, honey bunch. You know that I love you. I can't help myself. All right, whatever. We get hyperactive in the morning. Mad Max, Fury Road. Pretty sure they're doing a sequel to this. I don't know. This next one is a kid movie. I remember it coming out. It's Jack and the Giant Slayer. I think it's kind of like, you know, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk for Blu-ray. comes with the Blu-ray 3D, a regular Blu-ray, a DVD, and an ultraviolet code, I'm guessing that is, with a slip cover. And I can't get it out of the damn thing. It's like glued in there. That's okay. You get the point. Anyway, that'll be a fun one for my daughter. And so I keep looking this way because the mirror is over there. But sorry, I look in the lens now. There's that. Um, and one more I got from the dollar store. And that is called The Clinic. It's a horror movie, obviously. I kind of vaguely remember this one coming out, but I could be wrong. Um, I think I'm getting this mixed up with a movie called Teeth, where the girl has teeth down there, and if anyone tries to do anything, it bites it off, bites their thing off, bites anything that goes near it off. But I don't think that's this. This looks pretty okay, you know. It's probably trash, but you don't know unless you try, right? And another one I got at a store... Last week, not the Dollar Tree. You you wouldn't find this in the Dollar Tree. I doubt it. Maybe one day. I don't know. It's a four movie set with classic, classic horror movies. Um, TMC Turner Classic. It's got Jack, Doctor Jackal, and Mister Hyde. Freaks, which I always wanted to see. I only seen little parts of it. Um, it's it was very controversial back in the day, and I can definitely see why they used real people with deformities and disabilities in this movie and they acted in the movie they need to work too right um the haunting and the house of wax which i watched a little bit of it it looks really cool just the wax figures look real as hell i know that they're real actors just posing still but it's still they made them look real but fake at the same time i think they achieved the look um they made a remake, I think Paris Hilton's in it. I've never seen it, never seen any of them, but I'm excited to watch this. It's got some good shit in it. And this next one is okay. I'm not a huge fan, but it was only $5, so I couldn't resist. And that is all three Austin Powers movies. I think they're funny. There's, there's a charm to them. You know, I don't love them. I'm not a full-fledged addicted fan, but... Yeah, so there's what it looks like on the inside. Gold member, gold finger, whatever. Um, so it's got all three of them. And I heard they were making another one. I don't know if that's true. It seems very believable. It was a big hit. I think it would do well. But I do think when these these series wait so long, they wait till no one even cares anymore. Kind of like Dumb and Dumber 2. Everybody was excited for it, waited like 20 years, it came out, and it wasn't good at all. It sucked, it did not live up to the reputation, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I'm not a quello till I made the money. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it, hope you enjoyed some of the crap I got. Um, let me know if you guys found anything good. Uh, yeah, that's all. Peace out. Have a good day. I might be streaming later. I have some things I got to do, but I'm going to try to stream. If I do, it's going to be around 3 o'clock, maybe later. But anyway, you'll see me. You'll get a notification if you click the bell. Also, subscribe, share this video, leave a comment, leave some love. I appreciate all your support. The channel's really growing. It's starting to boom. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. I hope you're getting through this quarantine safely and uh bravely and you know it's going to be over eventually